Kinkora Boys Home took in youngsters and teenagers from the courts or who were thought to be in moral danger. There have been allegations of homosexual offences here for over 20 years. But it was only last December that Mr William McGrath, a prominent orange man and a house father at Kinkora, was jailed for four years for sexual offences against boys in his care. Four other men were also jailed. A former missionary of Dr Paisley's church accused the DUP leader of not taking action against McGrath eight years before he was brought to trial. I approached Dr Paisley on at least seven occasions. I asked him time and time again what he intended to do about this. My concern all along was very much for the fact that there were young boys under the threat of this man's corruption. Dr Paisley There's has no been calling for an immediate public immunity. judicial inquiry. He admits Miss Shaw did tell him of McGrath's homosexuality, homosexuality but not that he worked at Kinkora. Watch what she said. Yes, she did say she made accusations against Mr McGrath and she based these on the evidence of a Mr X. When I met Mr X, he wouldn't meet Mr McGrath. But I, of course, uh, did the only thing I could do. I put Mr McGrath from taking part in an orange service in my church. He wasn't a member of my church, but I certainly took that dis discipline immediately. And uh, I'm, I regret that Miss Shaw didn't go to the police. But Miss Shaw says she did, and the police too have been accused of a cover-up. There have been several police inquiries into alleged homosexual prostitution rings, which catered for prominent Ulstermen. But most of the investigations were apparently dropped. Now the RUC's tough chief constable, Sir John Herman, is making sure there's been no cover-up. He's called in an outsider to investigate the allegations against some of his men and to take charge of any fresh inquiries. The Northern Ireland Secretary, Mr Pryor, set up a committee of inquiry to sit in private. But last week, three of the five committee members resigned because they felt they couldn't do the job the public wanted to find out exactly what had gone on in Kinkora. It was clear Mr Pryor had seriously underestimated public concern. But it remains to be seen whether his announcement today and a fresh investigation by an independent chief constable will satisfy that concern. David Rose, News at 10, Belfast.